This is chair flying the eights on pylons maneuver. So we're going to start from straight level on accelerated flight. I prefer to be above 100 knots for this maneuver. The faster you are, the higher your pivotal altitude. At 100 knots, our pivotal altitude is about 885 feet. Let's call it 900 feet. So I'm at 900 feet. I'm on a downwind. I have two pylons um, perpendicular to me. I'm entering at a 45 degree angle. Let's say I'm going to go to the left first. So as the object comes up on my left wing, I'm going to bug my heading. I'm going to dip my wing into the pylon and I'm going to hold it there. We're not going to hold it with ailerons. We're not going to hold it with rudder. We're going to keep um, our rudders coordinated, keep the ball in the center. And I'm going to hold the object on my wing with elevator, pivotal altitude. As the object appears to move ahead of my wing, I'm going to push down. As the object appears to move behind my wing, I'm going to pull up. So object moves in front, push. Object moves behind, pull. As I rotate around the object, as I get to 270 degrees, I'm going to roll wings level. I'm going to wait for the next object to come up uh, to be just off my wing. I'm going to roll into that object. I'm going to do the same thing to the right now. As the object moves ahead of me, I'm going to push down. As the object moves behind my wing, I'm going to pull up, rotate around the object 270 degrees until I'm back to my original heading. I roll out wings level, straight level on accelerated flight, do a cruise checklist, and that's the end of the maneuver.